Right, well, first of all, thanks for taking time out your day to talk to us today and give us a little update um, around the club. First of all, just st starting off, you joined the club nine months ago now as finance director. How have you found it so far? Yeah, uh, thanks, Gareth. I think, um, look, I think it was no secret I come on, or when I come on board uh, early, just after the end of last season, pre-season, I think it was no secret the club was in, you know, financially not in great shape. Um, the results actually were just published last week for the year to end of May 22 and it's shown a loss of about 200,000. Um, so obviously that's not really sustainable. Um, it was a tough time. I remember my first week, I think actually, maybe my first day in the job was to sit down with Doogie um, and have to really cut his budget for the season ahead. Uh, you, you, you mentioned you uh, having to cut Doogie's budget. How do you take that? Look, it was... Um, Obviously, we put him in a very difficult position. Um, it was a tough time, but to be honest, he was absolutely brilliant about it. Um, he totally got that we had to do you know, what was needed for the club to survive. Um, yeah, he was really understanding, took it very well. Now, I remember what he did say to me was, he says, you've given us a relegation budget here, but me and Andy, you know, we'll do our best to make sure the club don't get relegated. Um, I wasn't maybe totally convinced at the time. I remember first game of the season, we had uh, one sub on the bench. Um, but look, so to see where we're at today is really, I mean, great credit to Doogie, Andy and the backroom team, Erin, Davey, Dell and Lewis. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. I don't think we could have foreseen it a few months ago and it's really credit to them. It's quite clear to see on the pitch just how well the team's performing right now. Um, you know, in, t in terms of the financial side of things, how, how's the club looking? Yeah, well, look, I'm pleased to say we're in a much better position than we were those nine months ago. Um, there's a few reasons for that. I think, number one, the club owes a great debt of gratitude to Brian Bonham and Dalrada. Um, they come in and gave us, a, say, a support package, a package that not only kept the lights on, but also allowed us to invest, give Doogie a bit extra budget, also invest a bit in the infrastructure here. Um, so real credit to him. Um, and I think also credit to the MCT directors because they were the ones, I don't know how they managed it, they tracked Brian down, um, explained our situation to him, I think, and got him to believe that while well, we'd had some you know, bumps on the community ownership journey, the story was a good one and the future was bright and we were worth investing in. Um, so that was great. And I think the second big thing, obviously, this season which has helped is the Celtic game. Um, I credit myself for that. I think that was the power of my prayers that got them out of the hat. Um, but no, it means we're going to end the season making a profit, um, which is something that's been, I'd say, too rare an occurrence for the club over the years. So we're going to end the season well. Um, financially and I think the third big thing and the constant through this is the MCT contributions I don't think um, I can stress you know just how much and what a material difference it makes I'm not sure people are aware but last season MCT represented their contributions over 20% of our income uh, this year it's slightly less but I mean to put it into perspective this year and last year, it represents roughly a third to a half of uh, the first team playing budget. So it's massive. Um, speaking now, as, with MC, as an MCT member rather than the club's finance director, I think we need to do a much better job going forward of communications, communicating sorry, with uh, MCT and the, you know, the members to explain to them what we're doing with our money, how we're spending it. Um, and then to make sure, you know, the plans that we've got, that we're transparent and that at the end of the day, we as a board are accountable for delivering, delivering on those plans. Um, I think the big positive thing at the moment is um, MCT have just released another. They had put aside a chunk of money uh, just last week. It allowed Doogie to bring in another player on loan, Ali Crawford. Uh, this week or very soon, we're hoping to do to announce uh, a new ticketing partner which I think will be massive for the club. And then going forward, we've got some more plans, hopefully in the next few weeks and months that you'll see um, involving the piece of ground we owned at Sinclair Street to start developing that. So 
yeah, I think uh, very positive. Yeah, you talk about the positive plans going forward, but just in terms of goals going forward now, uh, how's that? How's that looking? Right, uh, I think when I came in, I think the overarching objective was to increase our revenues, obviously, but it's more about diversifying our income streams as a club. I think as a football club, what you don't want to be is over -rel overly relying on the performance on the park, which uh, gives you your crowds and also your prize money. Um, so I think what we're trying to do is diversify our revenues so that we're not so reliant on that. Um, and we've got good plans in place for the next couple of years, I would say. Um, just on the crowds, I think one thing very positive is, as we've seen the last since, I would say, since Dougie came in, the crowds are up almost 50%, our home crowd, which is brilliant. Uh, I think there is probably more people out there that we could get along to Caplo. Um, I believe we've now, maybe in the past, the club had lost sight of the fact we're in the entertainment industry. I think now we've got a team in the park to be proud of. Um, we're about to launch in the next couple of weeks a wee mini season ticket uh, for now to the end of the season where hopefully we can get more people out to push us on for, well, who knows, ideally a playoff place or better.